training firefighters to safely drive and operate these large and complex machines, and also do it quickly and efficiently, is the mission of the Alaska Division of Forestry and Fire Protection's Engine Academy. It's our breaking practice. The Alaska Engine Academy is an intensive eight-day course that revolves around operator training, maintenance, and pumping and drafting. It's been one of the more exhausting fire classes I've ever taken. How would you summarize your week here? Eventful, stressful, oh, magical, <laughs> a lot of learning. The objective is to provide our students with the skills and knowledge necessary to become proficient and safe engine and fire apparatus operators. The Academy offered 16 students the chance to earn certifications as an emergency vehicle operator, engine operator, and engine boss, as well as in the use of portable water pumps. Every valve on that truck sends water somewhere. Learning everything I can about engines, trying to get that much better. I have some experience, but you know, more knowledge and experience never hurts. It allows students to get critical hands-on training behind the wheel in a controlled environment before they have to drive in the more chaotic atmosphere of a wildfire. These courses, for me personally, have been a little bit more difficult just not being behind the wheel too much. But I mean, over the course of the past three days, I feel a lot more comfortable with my driving ability and on these courses, for sure. And you can see the figure eight skill course here. The figure eight definitely is the hardest. Pretty challenging. There's not much margin for error here. It's a pretty tight course. So they're taking this big fire engine, driving it backwards, and they only have 90 seconds to do it, a full loop. They come in a little apprehensive. Weaving backwards through cones was something I really struggled with. They get a little bit comfortable once they start completing the course. Then they push themselves, and it, it's almost like clockwork on Wednesday. People start failing because of a little bit of overconfidence. And that's what we want. We want them to see what happens when they push the envelope. And the instructors were really able to help break down the skills and the mirror transfers and what to focus on and how to position the engines, you know, spatially on the course. And uh, I was able to pass it. So I was really proud of myself for that because I had doubts. <laughs> Driving pretty fast backwards through the cones and, and not getting yelled at for it was pretty fun. <laughs> I enjoyed that a lot. The fun and stress behind the wheel was interspersed with time behind a desk, learning the laws that govern emergency driving, how to maintain a fire engine, and the calculations required to successfully keep water flowing. We'll basically break the evolution into two stations or two sections, onboarding water, and they work through that for a couple of days till they'll get real comfortable with that, and then we go into the delivery of water out to the field to the firefighters. A driving academy wouldn't be complete, of course, without a field day to, well, hit the road. We had like inner city stuff in Wasilla. We had windy roads in Wasilla Fishhook. We had mountain roads and Atchers really put us through the ringer and we did it all to sort of test people and uh, make them more comfortable behind the wheel. The class was taught by a cadre of nine experienced firefighters. The instructors were great. They were very flexible and wanted us to all to succeed and they sat down and took extra time for us each and every one just to make sure we really grasped the information and I really appreciate that from all of them. They're all good. They're all very well trained instructors so I'm happy to have them. After honing their skills on future wildfires it's hoped that some of these students may return as teachers themselves one day. Every year we have a stronger cadre which means every year the students get a better experience and we produce better students, so it's this great positive feedback loop of, of knowledge and experience that builds the division. We get really quality firefighters out of this program, which is our goal. We've learned a lot and got really grown as a team, I feel, so be more ready when the real incidents come. <laughs>